Number 1 Australian War Memorial Inaugurated in the middle of World War II, the massive Byzantine-style monument commemorating Australia's war fatalities is Canberra's most poignant attraction. More than just a war memorial, the site combines an excellent museum, archives, art gallery, and library. Number 2 New Parliament House The final fulfillment of architect Walter Burley Griffin's vision for Canberra in 1912, New Parliament House is a marvel of modern architecture. The boomerang-shaped structure nestles comfortably into Capitol Hill and was designed to replace the provisional Parliament House at the base of the hill, now known as Old Parliament House. Number 3 Museum of Australian Democracy at Old Parliament House A short walk from New Parliament House at the base of Capitol Hill, Old Parliament House is now home to the Museum of Australian Democracy. Opened by the Duke of York, later King George VI, in 1927, the building is designed in the strict classical style and was occupied by the Australian Parliament until 1988, when New Parliament House was officially opened. Number 4 Lake Burley Griffin Beautiful Lake Burley Griffin is the centerpiece of Canberra. Named for the city's architect, this artificial lake was included in his original plan of 1912, but didn't come to fruition until 1958. Tourists and locals alike come here to bike and stroll along the waterfront paths, picnic along its park-fringed shores, and fish, sail, or paddle the glistening waters. Number 5 National Gallery of Australia on the shores of Lake Burley Griffin, the National Gallery of Australia contains Australia's largest collection of art. The cubic concrete structure was opened by Queen Elizabeth II in October 1982 and consists of 11 main galleries on three levels as well as a large sculpture garden laid out according to the four seasons. Number 6 Questacon, the National Science and Technology Centre. Between the High Court and the National Library on Lake Burley Griffin, Questacon is an interactive national science and technology center opened in 1988. Parents and children alike will enjoy the interactive science displays and do-it-yourself experiments designed to delight and inspire. Number 7 National Portrait Gallery of Australia Near the High Court of Australia and the National Gallery, the National Portrait Gallery of Australia displays some 400 portraits of the nation's most influential people. You can easily spend an hour or two coming face to face with Australia's movers and shakers, brought to life through paintings, photography, and sculpture. Number 8 National Library of Australia Opened in 1968, the National Library of Australia is a treasure trove of Australian books, manuscripts, newspapers, historic documents, oral history, music, and pictures. Its most valuable possessions are Captain Cook's Journal, 1768 to 71 and Will's diary of his expedition with Burke in 1860 to 61 Number 9 Mount Ainsley Lookout To really appreciate the layout of this carefully planned capital head to the lookout of 843 meter Mount Ainsley one of the city's most popular vantage points A well-paved walking/biking trail winds for just over 2 kilometers from the rear of the Australian War Memorial Number 10, Australian National Botanic Gardens. About a kilometre west of the city centre, the 50-hectare National Botanic Gardens are spread across the slopes of Black Mountain. In the carefully tended collections, you can admire representatives of all the important species of Australian flora. The rainforest gully is particularly impressive. Look for water dragons among the lush foliage. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.